I don't think there is a much better feeling in this world than waking up at sea. Welcome on board the PNO Britannia for day eight of our cruise as we continue to sail east in the Mediterranean. After a hearty breakfast from the Horizon Buffet, there was some time on the open deck to contemplate the day ahead. Through this morning and afternoon, PNO and the passengers on Britannia would be raising money for the Teenage Cancer Trust. Members of the ship's company would be cycling for two hours under the hot Mediterranean sun to raise as much money as possible for this well-deserving cause. Then it was up to Deck 18 to participate in the Trek the Deck event. It was great to see so many people taking part and walking a mile around the ship together. Back to the Lido Deck where staff along with the help of some passengers were continuing to cycle in the hot weather. It was inspiring to see people push themselves to their limit and cycle a total distance together of 241.1 miles in just two hours. This would help raise a great deal of money for a great cause. Every day, seven people aged between 13 and 24 years are told that they have cancer. And the work this charity does helps to reach and make a difference for these young people. So there we go guys, a great afternoon of fundraising for a cause is as worthy as any and of course out in that beautiful mediterranean sun as well now we've all been on a busy cruise during the summer holidays before and one of the biggest struggles is finding a sun lounger and well today i saw something i don't think i've seen in my 15 years of cruising credit where it is due for piano for putting these little leaflets out uh, for people that have reserved their sunbeds for too long so I'll give Piano props for that, for at least trying to deal with the situation. And remember guys, when you're out there, have proper sun lounger etiquette. Is that a thing? Can I call it that? All right, well, I think it's time to head to the buffet, grab some dinner, and then enjoy the rest of the sun out on the open deck. Let's go do that. It was another filling and delicious meal from the buffet, followed by some scones that were still warm to the touch. There is something so relaxing about being out at sea on board the beautiful Britannia. It gives you a unique opportunity to reflect on life in a way that can't be done in our normal day-to-day -day lives. There's no traffic of the big city, no rushing to and from work, just your thoughts and the sea. I don't think there's anything quite like it. All right, so I'm back in the cabin because uh, it's time to get freshened up for this evening's events. I was able to book onto the show uh, tonight, which is quite good considering shortly after both showings were fully booked. So I'm guessing it's going to be a popular one. But before then, shower and get changed. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so whilst I was having a shower, the captain done his announcement to basically update us with where we were and also the weather for tomorrow, which by the way is looking to be 29 degrees. Very good. But he also told us that we currently have passengers isolating for your favourite C word. Can you guess what it is? Well, it's co chicken pox. <laughs> chicken pox. Wait, can I even get chicken pox? Anyway, we were told that the ship is now currently having some enhanced safety procedures, mostly with enhanced sanitisation. But question on everyone's lips, is the buffet still self-service? Well, we're going to find that out tomorrow. But for now, it is the evening and I have a show to go to. So let's go watch the show. Before tonight's show, we were given an update on today's fundraising events. For any of you were there, we raised £1,335 in 94 minutes. That's not bad, is it? A rolling total of £750,000 in a year, adding to the previous total for that particular charity of over £2 million. It's brilliant. So thanks for all your support with that. But now, back to tonight's show. 
We welcome a Britain's Got Talent finalist, comedy impressionist, it's John Clegg! So the show this evening was a comedian called John Clegg, who you may remember he was a finalist on Britain's Got Talent some years ago. And his show included a variety of things. He'd done some singing, he'd done some impressions, a lot of impressions actually. Um, I was surprised at how many impressions he could actually do. And of course, throughout some comedy as well. Now, if I had to describe his type of comedy, I would say it is observational comedy, which for those of you that may not know, is comedy based on sort of everyday things. So he done, there was a bit about labels on products and there was a bit on um, famous songs in commercials as well. So it's stuff that we know. And I think that's why the comedy works and it is my favorite type of comedy. And yeah, very good, very good show. And my favorite thing about comedians on cruise ships, this is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine, is when they make fun of the cruise company or the ship. I don't know why, I just kind of enjoy it. The little jokes about it. Um, and he had a few of them as well, so that was good to see. And yeah, hell of a lot of impressions. I don't know how he was able to do so many different impressions from such a wide variety of voices as well. Um, but somehow he was, and that was pretty incredible really, and entertaining as well. So if he is on the ship, I know that he does a few of the piano ships. He said he was on Arcadia early in the year. I would recommend going to see him because he was very enjoyable. And I think the biggest compliment I could give is that he's doing a show later in the cruise as well. And as soon as I got back to the cabin, I made sure that I was booked on it, which is pretty much the biggest compliment I can give to any show that there is. But that was that, a very good show and a nice way to end the evening. Of course, I did have to cover up the audio again. Uh, for his voice just out of respect for him but I will link some videos down below of his act should you want to see um, what he's like. So when I arrived back to the cabin I found this health advisory um, in my post which basically just outlines everything that the captain said earlier um, but the one thing I will say is Piano are very good at being open about this kind of stuff. I remember when I was on the Iona and they had the outbreak of the gastrointestinal illness they were very open about it they done the announcement and we got the guidance as well. Uh, which is pretty good. So, you know, props to them. I think that's the second compliment I've given to Piano today, which is a bit weird, but, you know, prop credit when it's due. You know, I do like that they are sort of open about it. So that there brings us to the end of another sea day on board the Piano Britannia. And unfortunately, today was the halfway point. Obviously, we've got another port tomorrow, uh, which I've forgotten how to pronounce, so I won't. I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for watching. And I'd like to say that if you'd want to watch more of my content, you have the whole playlist of the cruise here. The next video will be here once it's out. And of course, if you want to see more of my content, you can always visit my channel and subscribe by clicking just here.